Alpha was my first life group here at Victory and I fell in love with it. And I feel like when well, you have something that's incredible for you, why would you not want to share it? So I actually ended up uh, inviting Mike to Alpha. Going through a really, really tough time in my life. And uh, Steve started by taking uh, me under his wing, um, creating a bit of a fellowship and and talking philosophy, spirituality, and and then said, yeah, I, I want to invite you to this group. I, I'm part of this church and it's it's done great things for me. And I said that, man, that's that's really special, Steve. No, that's, I have so much chaos in my life. I, I, I can't handle an extra commitment and extra time. And, and I just, it's great for you. It just did not for me. And so fast forward a bit and Steve says again, like, you know, we were having these fellowships and it's totally chill. Um, just come. If you come and you feel it's weird, you can go. It's it's as low key as that. And so I, I said, okay, I'll, I'll say yes to something good that that's coming to my life. And uh, came in, uh, hit him with a at least 100 questions of, am I going to get quizzed? Am I going to get looked at weird if I don't sing or pray or you know all that kind of stuff? A lot of social anxiety. And um, he was so gracious about it. No, trust me, it's, it's calm, it's conversation, it's food. <laughs> and uh, food's very important yeah, for Alpha. Very, very important for Alpha, they feed you. And yeah, it was exactly like he said it was. And uh, the table creates this little community for you where you just feel safe to kind of explore this little curiosity that you have. I never experienced anything like let's all sit around in a table and just talk about it. Just seeing him like eat, after each week asking the questions and we're going around the table and like he was saying before, it's really a cool, safe and relaxed environment. There's no judgment there. We're literally just having a conversation and sharing our thoughts and opinions and experiences with one another. And I feel like that really kind of opens up people to share things and Mike would share a lot of things and the table was so receptive. And I actually started taking the action of prayer, the actions of reading scripture, the actions of devotionals, and and uh, feeling that there was a difference happening by taking the action, not just reading uh, about it and hearing about it, uh, and then the, uh, the day away, uh, actually going to the day away and experiencing the Holy Spirit. That's when my relationship with God clicked. So by the end of spring, I was like, I have a relationship with God. I know what it feels like. I'm now seeing his work happen in miracles and movement in people. And once you, once I reach that point, I, I, there's no going back. There's no, life is different. I am different. Uh, like all my chaos is still there, but things are easier to handle. Things make more sense. Um, and so yeah, that just inspired me to third semester, try to lead the table. And now I'm seeing the movement in other people that people have said they've seen in me. You know, I went from the point for me inviting people and not everyone's going to say yes. And like, and that's okay. But the, the thing that people have to remember is like, if you invite someone and they say yes, the changes that can happen in their life, the impact that it can have in their life, because they said yes, because you took the courage, took the moment out of your life, took the time to invite someone and they said yes. Like you said, like you said no when I asked you the first time. And you know, and you've you spoken about the difference that's been in your life for when you finally said yes. Yeah.